And for the first time in history, the Sabercats are in the playoffs as they host the Seattle Seawolves at Aviva Stadium in Houston. The home side picked this one up on the left. A warm welcome to our FS2 viewers within America. What a try scorer he's been. Ten tries to his name, the same. Down for Dean Muir on the opposite side. Loose ball, though, comes through. Kutzer, play on. Kutzer, there's nobody near. Davy Kutzer has all the time in the world. And we have looked off in Houston. The Sabercats get the opening score in the first five minutes at home. Sensational play from the number 10. Did not go to hand for Seattle. They were going side to side. There's the drop. Just look at the Seattle players in white just standing around watching this play develop. Houston, we talked about their, their being hungry. It's their first playoff game at home. First time in the postseason. Doesn't matter that Seattle's 5-0 in postseason play. This for the extra two. Up 7-0 oh, after seven perfect. minutes. Yeah, I got you. The you contact got to both these sides. And that will be advantage here, and Seattle will take the penalty. The 28 year old from Apia, Samoa, has a big strike. And the direction is good. Flags go up inside the opening 10 minutes. It's 7 3. Yeah, Scotty Green, one of the best in the business from the mountains of New Zealand. Danny Barrett taps the front row forwards for the Sabercats. Pulling down is the call, and they will get the penalty. 95 degrees as Harry Labaskachny, the 26-year-old, fires this one from inside his half, and the flags go up. That is tremendous. With advantage for the Seawolves. Five out. JP Smurth, they're driving. The small is still going. Herbs working really strong with Hutting. Can they get this over the line? Yes, they can. And the Seattle Seawolves have responded with a try of their own. At minute 16, they strike right back. Couldn't do it. So composed, so good is this Seattle forward pack. And look at this. There's the advantage that comes up. But look at the continuity. Look at how together they are as a group. Houston just scrambling backwards. And Seattle, no backs getting involved. No one else, just those eight forwards just getting to work and getting over the line. Pinching was CeCe Mahoney. Gives Smith and the Seawolves a chance to attack. <laughs> Penalty pulling around the side. Durotalo fakes the go. Yeah. Los Angeles, the defending champions, no longer in the top. Huge strike yet again from AJ Alatimu, and he turns. He's happy with that. It is a lead for the Seattle Seawolves. 11 10. They were up here after 23 minutes. Rick and Hutting. Will the big eight go? himself yes he will he appeals around funds smurth a dummy from smurth it opens up is that a try scott green says yes and jp smurth like a bolt cutter goes through for seattle this is the angle we want to see here from the back so jp smith waiting for it breaks out to the right hand side gets into the midfield got some short runners inside oh Ooh, no contact was made okay so we have 12 white is ahead of the ball here, doesn't actually make contact with the defender. That's what I thought, yep. Yeah. And, and then the, the defender def makes a decision Fade to off. carry on with the ball carrier. So there is no contact. And there's no clear obstruction? There is no clear obstruction. So the try will should stand. Mine try should inside. stand, yes. Okay. <laughs> try stand. And the cats go high. The aerial battle continues here in the first half. Seattle with Neil across to Alatimu. Big step on the left, Alatimu cutting loose. AJ Alatimu, vintage stuff from the far. What a breakout. Matthews on the outside, he'll coast it. He's one of the seven wonders of the world. AJ Alatimu, and he gives it off to Duncan Matthews. It scorches the turf. That was so good. We saw a box kick battle going back and forth. But this one, this is that up and under that they put just outside the 22, controlled well by Seattle and Ross Neal. But watch this step, bang, and gone. And no Sabercats anywhere in that picture. Duncan Matthews just gets on his bike to help out Alatimu and put some pace into that to finish this one off. So really, really well done by Alatimu to step into space. But really, from, from a Houston perspective, just not good enough on your kick chase in these situations. We talked about how it was going to be an important part of this game. Men in yellow, though, continue to surge forward. Big carry from Marno Rierlinghuis. Numbers to the right-hand side for Smith. Find some big heavies. As they charge up a little bit further. 
Labaskagni throws a step. Labaskagni is too hot to handle. With or without a shirt, this man's danger. <laughs> Good energy into it, but then talk about energy. Labaskagni this time. Good step. We saw the team moves earlier yeah, yeah, on, yeah, yeah. earlier on, but that time finding a seam. Get ready for another counter. Davy Kutza. Drifts across field, offers a switch, takes him on the outside, finds Lovaskakni, Katie Lovaskakni, open space. This is fun to watch. Christian Dyer. Oh, that is a stunner from the Houston Sabercats. They're as tough as bad news, and they're right back in this Western Conference final. Look at this kick chase from Leuda that puts a good pressure on and a not a great kick from Yosefo. Forces that left footed kick right to the middle of the field. Not ideal. You see the Seattle players just kind of standing around in midfield there that time. And then Kutza turns on the gas, steps to the outside, looks for support, but switches back in. And there's that man again, Lavaskakne, who's been doing stuff all game for them and sets up this play on the inside to Dyer. And Dyer just finishes it off. And that was a brilliant counterattack from the Houston Sabercats that time. Three Sabercats in support. Labaskachny with that brilliant cutback, as you mentioned. And Christian Dyer. Ross Neal beats one. Neal carries strong. There's a 26-year-old out of England, former Wasp center in the Premiership. Okay, we're good. Smith finds a short ball. It's a hard running inside center. Dan Krill, just Stay a up, meter go. shy. Seattle bring the pressure. They bring the heat. And they get over indeed. They get their big heavies involved, and who else but Mazamo Machola. Big pass out the back. Some work here from the backs. We talked about Duncan Matthews and his pace to the outside. Ross Neal that time plowing into a few Sabercast defenders, but look at this line coming into this Houston Sabercast defense, just slicing straight through. Great take that time from their 13 Creel, and then just the forwards here go to work for Seattle, just like you said, down better than anyone else, just punching it in over that line. It's Scott Green right on the scene. Carried back by go. Carried back in by Hamasais. Come out now, go. Come back. He hoops it downfield. It's not out. Alatimu's there on the spot. He's everywhere today. It's like there's four of them. Oh, what a no-no pass from Alatimu Creel streaks down the short side. Backwards. Hammered by Emmanuel. Alatimu's there and he flicks it. To Neil, that is vintage Seattle SeaWolves, and Ross Neal punches one in, but it was all Aja Alatimu. In this play, so a big kick this time from Liuta. Really nice work on the kick chase. Matthews looked to be in a lot of trouble that time. Flicks that one out the back, and Aja Alatimu is the first one to start this. Puts the kick downfield, but stays with the play. Houston gathers, recovers. Puts it back towards the corner. Lavaskakne puts it right towards that corner. Alatimu is the one who kicked, so he hangs back. He covers and then explodes off that foot upfield and just finds finds his outside support. First pass that time was to his 13 Creel. Picks the spilled ball up out of that ruck and finds Ross Neal for the score. Wide ball. Kutza again, he attacks. Hobie, in fact, gets the flick ball away superbly, but has been intercepted by Duratalo, who's there, and Matthews, who hoops it. Half court, and then Matthews comes through, playing soccer and all sorts of things. And now he's sprinting ahead. He's electric, is Duncan Matthews. He's beaten everybody to the chase. Oh, that is outstanding. And the goose step to go along with it as well. Stuck with the play all the way through. So here it is. This is what sets it up. Good tackles there. Good little line break, though, and then an intercept by Duratolo getting into the passing channel. Duncan Matthews, not his best kick off his left foot. Wouldn't have been happy with that, but then toe pokes it ahead and then just overtakes the Houston Sabercats chase. Gets a great bounce up into his hands. So excited is Duncan Matthews just there, giving a little dive at the end, spiking the ball down. He is psyched up, especially after making that kick error that he wouldn't have been happy with. Aaron Mitchell carries one more time as Leuta throws the big dummy, the big fake. Roll yeah, he's out, a strong man. carrier. Good work. Have to get through though. Dyer once. Christian Dyer stabs it to the toe. Chasing Dyer is there. Oh, it sits up. Dyer is reaching for the line. Dyer dives over this one. And the whistle goes. Christian Dyer. Dice put that kick in and see what happens. And great individual effort this time from Dyer. Good hustle. See some space in behind. Yosefo does not get the bounce. Dyer stays with the play. We've seen that happen a few times tonight. And just how important it is to stay on top of the play, continue to chase the ball. We've seen a couple tries come as a result. Of hey, hey, stop, stop. Now JP Smith hoofs this one out. The celebrations begin. And the Emerald City shines bright.
as their Warriors from Seattle win the Western Conference title and they book their place in the Major League Rugby Shield final for 2022. The third time this franchise has done this. What a performance from the Seawolves. The most successful team in playoff history. And they do it away from home.